So we have another supposed E3 leak, and this is actually Nintendo based, and I wasn't going to discuss this until we got the announcement of the online service on May 7th, which this leak predicted. But I want to focus on one of the aspects of this leak, which are the apparent fact that the first two adventure games are coming to the Nintendo Switch. So if you all know, it's under the Sega Ages line, and uh, this is where the first two adventure games are coming in, to the West. That's all it says, it's being revealed in the E3 presentation, Nintendo has the first two adventure games on the Switch. Now, is this going to be real? I don't know, because I feel like they got really lucky. This leak, uh, I don't know if I'll put an image on screen or something, but they did predict the date of when Nintendo would reveal all of the online services stuff. But they did get things wrong in there. They said that there would be some Nintendo Classics line that they haven't called Nintendo Classics. They've just called it Nintendo Entertainment System, which is just shitty NES games on online. Woo. Like, <laughs> I'm really not excited for that because they keep on giving us crappy old, old, old games instead of, you know, GameCube games or Wii games or hell, N64 games. But no, it's just NES games. So, in this leak, first two adventure games coming. I feel like... It, <sighs> I have I have discussed this before on on Twitter actually I've discussed Sega porting over Sonic games to the Switch to fill in the gaps between years of Sonic games, uh, but I never said the adventure games. I actually said like Sonic Generations and Sonic Colors and maybe even Lost World, since Nintendo are porting so many Wii U games to the Switch already. Why wouldn't Sega just port the Wii U game of Lost World to the Switch? I don't know. It's probably easy money, probably. So I feel like it is possible. And it, 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 it's just, they're going to be ports. They are not going to be remakes. These are going to be ports. Since they're coming under the Sega Ages uh, line, which I'm pretty sure is this thing, which is like uh, Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. Like just these really old Genesis games. I think that's what the Sega Ages thing is. I'm not 100% sure. And apparently the adventure games are coming under this. I could see it. I could easily see it. Like It wouldn't be difficult. It'd be really easy. It's, it's free money. And it's a good test it's a good test to see if people still love the adventure games because the switch is like the sonic games always sell best on the switch right even sonic forces sonic forces sold the best on the switch i think sonic mania sold best on the switch i'm not 100 percent sure on that actually don't don't quote me on that so the fact and sonic colors sold really well um and then lost world i'm not sure how that sold probably not well they played to steam so <laughs> whoops but uh so I could see it happening, I could see the adventure games coming to Switch. I want them, I want them really bad. I would kill to have these adventure games on the Switch. I love the adventure games, they're so good. I love playing the Sonic levels and the Shadow levels in Adventure 2. And having a portable child garden is just like my dream come true. It's like everything I wanted in anything ever. So please give it to us, please give it to us. I would be eternally grateful if you gave us Sonic Adventure on the Switch. Please. It's This, this, this would fill in so many gaps for me. I wouldn't have to play Sonic Forces on the Switch anymore. I'd be able to play the adventure games. So I, I think it could happen, but I'm not sure Nintendo would announce it in their Nintendo Direct, their E3 Direct. I don't I don't see that. I feel like this would be a Sega announcement. I'm not I'm not sure. Well, I guess in the past Nintendo did reveal Lost World for the first time, so I guess maybe it makes sense. But I feel like Nintendo would not reveal this. It would be Sega. But I think it's possible. I think it's possible. I, I, I want it. I It's nothing more I can say because it, it's barely any information. Just the adventure games coming to Switch. This could be a port. They better be like up and everything though. And it better not have the stupid black bars. Sonic Adventure DX. It better, well, not even black, but it was like purple bars. It better not be that. If it's that, then fuck that. that is well, not fuck that. I'd still take it, but it'd just be really shitty. And we don't know if this, if this would be Sonic Adventure 2 Battle or just Sonic... Adventure 2, or yeah, just the ones on the Dreamcast, or the updated enhanced versions, we don't know. But that is basically everything I've got to say, very short video, there's nothing, there's really nothing else. We've got, we've got supersonic racing information as well, but I really feel like that's fake. I do not believe this supersonic racing stuff, because they're saying it takes inspiration from Sonic R, and some characters can run on their own, and Tails can use vehicles. Even though in the trailer we saw Sonic using... A vehicle. Well, it was a Sonic vehicle, so why why would Tails be using that? So I feel like that's fake. They say there's some kind of N Nintendo exclusive content tease for the game. 
I don't believe it. I really don't believe the Sonic Supersonic Racing stuff. They're basing it all on that stupid R in the logo. That's just gonna. That, that's not gonna equal Sonic R. I swear to God. If it does, it'd be really cool, and I want it, but it's not going to happen. I promise you guys, this game is not going to be like Sonic R. You're not going to be running on your feet. I've seen so many people say this. It's not going to happen. It's going to be another Sonic Racing game. A Sonic Kart Racer. If it does happen and you do run on your feet, if you've got the option to do that, then I will delete my channel because it's not going to happen. And if it does, fuck, I've just made the worst promise in the whole world. But that is basically everything because they say Sonic runs on his feet and they say Tails use vehicles. And then what? It just, it just, what characters use vehicles and what characters don't? Like, how do you balance that properly? Why would Sonic be faster without a vehicle that he does with a vehicle? It just. Like, Tails is just as fast, well, almost as fast as Sonic, and, well, in, in the classic games, Tails is almost as fast as Sonic, so why would he not be on his feet as well? It doesn't make sense. <sighs> and that, that is, that's basically everything we've got. We've got, like, other Nintendo stuff as well, but really, I just, I just don't believe any of it, and all the stuff I see, I just do not really care about. I might discuss it in a different video, because this is a Sonic video. I might actually discuss that in a different video, if you want that. I guess I'll do it. But... With all that said, let me know what you think of this leak in the comment section below. Do you want the adventure games on the Switch? Because I sure fucking do. And do you believe the Super Sonic Racing stuff? Because I do not. And make sure to follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description. I've been discussing how fake this leak was. Because it's not real. But I still believe the adventure games could happen very easily. Uh, make sure to follow me on there. It's a good way to interact with me because I talk on there all the fucking time <laughs> So uh, the, the link to that will be in the description and make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube for more videos like this I do Sonic news, Sonic discussions, Sonic mod videos, Nintendo news and Nintendo discussion videos If you like the sound of all of that make sure to subscribe and hit the bell because YouTube is an asshole <laughs> But with all that said, thank you all for watching and I'll definitely make sure to catch you all later <laughs>